No. Hello YouTube and welcome to Rainbow Stars channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to medicate a rat who has an upper respiratory infection. Now this is Alice. She's coughing as you can hear. Baby, don't try to eat and cough. That's not good. Now, the poor thing. Um, I don't use typical bedding for my rats. I tend to use towels and whatnot to try and keep this from happening. Um, I wash them daily, and I wash out the cage daily like religion. So, um, the fact that she got sick is because she came from a pet store where they kept her inside of like a little glass container, no ventilation, and they kept her in a dirty environment. So, when she came home, she was already coughing like that. And I've had her for quite some time. The infection never goes away. Hi, baby. Hello, baby. She just wants love. And um, she was very unsocialized when I first got her, but now she's a lot better. Look at her. She just wants my attention all the time. She's a little mama's girl. So I'm going to show you how to give it to give them medicine to where they'll just take it from you without having to fuss or fight. Uh, it's a very good little trick that I've learned for some pesky rats. And yeah. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna go get your medicine. Yes, I am. Because you are adorable. Yes. She's not that old, actually. She's not even a year yet. So she's still just a baby. Well, a baby in my eyes. They're always gonna be babies to me. Yes, yeah, so cute. I love you. And uh, down on the bottom, I'll show you snow in a little while. But right now, um, I'm going to medicate this one. Yes, they do share an environment. They both cough and sneeze. So, I know, baby. I know. So, I'm not going to procrastinate anymore. So I'm going to go get her meds. I have for them, I'm pausing this, is a doctor prescribed Batril. It was for Lily when she was alive. Unfortunately, she had passed. So, I kept the medicine you know, to use for my other babies. Now, when medicating rats, you need to know their weight, you need to know how much you're going to give them, and you need to be sure of the amount so that you do not make them sick or sicker than they already are. Okay, and that's the trick. She wants love and attention right now, so she's being cute. So, uh, here is the syringe that I had gotten from the vet. Now, obviously, this is the amount, the red line, where it needs to be. And uh, Lily was actually the same size as Alice. So I know that I can give her the same amount without it being a problem. And um, her sister is actually a little bit smaller. So Snow needs a little bit less because I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to make her sick. So I'm going to go ahead and ready the syringe and show you how this is going to work. Okay, now for rats in particular, um, some of them can be very picky, okay? Like some of them don't like the fruity flavors, some of them do, some of them like certain things. But what I found out is, did you know that because their eyesight is poor in uh, light rooms and whatnot, uh, they, they use their sense of smell mostly to figure out what things are, right? So whenever something sticks through their cage, typically, sometimes rats give a little exploratory nibble to figure out what it is. And um, because of that, you can actually stick the syringe through the bars and see, they'll grab right at it. She wants it too. I know, but because mine has already had this, she thinks of it as a treat because I give them treats daily. So she hears my voice and she knows it is something delicious. Here you go, baby. Yummy moo. Oh, goodness. And the trick is, is to give it to her slow enough so that she doesn't waste any. There you go, baby. <laughs> you like that, don't you, Alice? Hello, Internet, and welcome back to How to Medicate Another Rat. All right. So there's our little star yet again. There's little Alice. But right now we're going to get Snow, who's a wee little more camera shy. She's like, Mama, why? Why do I have to be out here? Why? She's yes. So, the other one is so cute. She's like, where'd you go? Alright. So, here we have 
our little darling. Oh, come back. All she wants to do is sleep. She's a sleepy one. She's a Dumbo, obviously, and she's pretty small. She's my baby. And, oh, I know. I know. The other one's actually coughing more than her. So right now I'm going to give her lungs a listen. Yeah, as I thought. So even though this one is not coughing, she does have a small rattle in her lungs, which means the infection has moved a little bit. <laughs> She's not used to being filmed, so I might actually medicate her off camera. Yeah. Yeah, because um, she wants to be all over me. So what you're going to do with a rat that's of a different size, obviously you know how much to give a rat this size, which I have more experience because I've had more than one animal before. If you listen, you can hear her brook sing. She's so happy. She's like, I'm out. Yay. All right, so this is part two. And as you can see, she already wants this. I already had it filled. Yeah, I'm making her take it. And there's always going to be that little bit in the thing. So what you do is you tilt this <laughs> like this up in the air, right? Make sure it's pointed all the way down and you give it a tighter squeeze. It forces the rest of that medicine out of there. Make sure they don't waste anything. That's what that does. So... Yeah, she did get two drops less, but because she's because she got most of it, I don't want to try and medicate her again, you know, because that would be that would be silly. So, um, for this one especially, she's my little cuddle monster. She loves to cuddle. She loves licking my fingers. She likes to groom me. She thinks I'm one of them. I hang out with my rats 24 hours a day, so they're never alone. And I take really good care of them, or I try to do that. And, uh, yeah. You guys have a wonderful day. <laughs> Rainbow Star Gumdrops, over and out. I'm gonna go and, uh, watch the 100 now, because my rats are medicated and they've been fed, and now it's time to, uh, go. And I might film their playtime, because we do have playtime. <laughs> and, uh, I always love filming them. I can't film them enough. Don't try to click that. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. See, she wants more. As long as it's tutti fruity flavor, man, they'll they'll take it. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna end this here before she destroys this. All right. Bye, guys. Peace out. Remember, peace, love, unity, and respect. Oh, she's just too cute. All right. All right. I'm ending it. <laughs> Goodbye, Snow. Goodbye. Yes, by the way, I forgot to mention, guys. When you give rats medication, make sure that in between, if you medicate one and the other using the same syringe, that you sanitize the syringe uh, each time so that they will not get reinfected with the mycoplasma, um, which is what makes them sick like that, which is what gives them the infections. So be sure to do that. Uh, sanitize it all the time. Each level needs to be washed. Each aspect of it, the bars need to be spread.